Good morning guys, a uh, bit of a rough start this morning, had a bit of a late night, but I made a promise to my mate, lovely fellow named Sam from Adelaide. He uh, attempted to do the Ben Lomond track uh, a couple days ago, and unfortunately because it's that rough part of the season where you need crampons and hiking poles, he was so close, probably about 300 or so meters from the summit. He had to turn around because the terrain was too sketchy. So it's been eating away at him. He wants to do it. It was a late night, but I was up at 7.30 and committed. I said I'd do this. At least, at least accompany you up to the saddle. And then after that, you're on your own. Since I'm not doing the full summit of Ben Lomond, I'm gonna do the Tiki Trail and skip the gondola. So that's gonna take about 40, 45 minutes or so. I'm just at the car right now. I need to grab some supplies, including my trail runners. I absolutely need for hiking, especially around this time of year. The tracks are muddier. Uh, there's nothing more that I would like to do right now than to just get back into that warm bed. I was very close to not doing this this morning. I figured the easy way out would have been just to keep on partying and to just tell Sam the next morning that I wasn't up to it. No, I committed. Granola bars. Ooh, we got some seaweed. Grab a bunch of these guys. I also did not have breakfast this morning. I'm still fasting. Might be easier, it might be rougher. I, I tend to like doing physical activities, like running on an empty stomach. So it is 8.34. I am meeting Sam at the cafe up by the Skyline Gondola in about an hour. Oh my God, this is gonna be tough. I'm already feeling it. As you can see, Tiki Trail is just covered with rocks and roots. And on top of all that, it is so steep. The best thing about it is that Ben Lomond track only starts at the very top. So it's almost like you're doing two trails. So you could either, you could take the gondola up to the top and start Ben Lomond fresh, or you could do what I'm doing and do the Tiki Trail first, hungover and then do Ben Lomond. Whether you think you can or you can't, you're right. This is like where they film Twilight. Not very discreet. <laughs> you know, they're so, so pretty. Made it guys, 40 minutes, pretty good time. Thought I was taking my time, but I got up here a lot quicker than I thought. So Tiki Trail, that's a wrap on that. Now the fun stuff begins. Ben Lomond. This is the view that we've got right now. I hope things clear up. Let's hope uh, these clouds move along. The Skyline Center is still closed. I am starving. Mm. Looks like the clouds are clearing up though. Is it just one walking stick? Yeah, you can get two. But oh, okay, one prefer stick. one. So we are here. I am gonna go with you to the saddle, and then I'm not gonna risk anything <laughs> doing that. And that's where you're gonna be. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> right, let's do this. Yeah, whenever we look up from Queenstown and we see just the top of the mountains covered in cloud, this is what it's like to be in it. Starting to peak, it's Ben Lomond. I think we'll be out of the cloud soon enough. Damn, that's insane. Look at that cloud right there. <sighs> it's very easy to get burned up here. Yeah, even in the winter time. A lot of people don't realize that the, the snow acts as just like a reflector. So you could get just as burnt in the winter time in Montreal as you would in the summer. Even though like the winters are long and cold in Montreal, we still get like nice fine days like today. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> One hour to the saddle. 
Five minutes. <laughs> so deceiving. We're about an hour into the hike. Just this lovely view. Little marks behind us. And this cloud, this blanket that just stretches over the lake. Oh, you could kind of see Queenstown down there through the clouds. Almost at the saddle. Summit, one and a half Ks, just an hour up that ridge. Seven, made it to the saddle. Spectacular views. 360 degrees of beauty. And then Sam's gonna make that final push to the summit. So how do you feel? Semi-confident. Yeah. Like go. Oh, you got this. It's just there. Yeah, I'm gonna need those crampons. <clears throat> Beautiful. Mm. <laughs> this is yours. Have fun. So there Sam goes, making the final push to the Ben Lomond summit. It is hella muddy this time of year. That cyclical freezing of the terrain overnight. And then once the sun hits it, it melts. So you definitely need crampons. We literally did not pass a single person along this entire track so far. I don't know what's going on. It's beautiful today. You can't even see the lake, we're above the clouds. It would be worth it to come back here another time um, when there aren't clouds and you'll just get a completely different experience. But this is just beautiful, serenity, peaceful. This is what Sam saw from the top of the Ben Lomond Summit. Pretty awesome. Thanks again for tuning in. Uh, it is so quiet up here. Uh, I think I might stick around for a little bit and just breathe and meditate and um, I'll see you on the next vlog.